In Brazy Pro, we have a very nice element in which you can build your own menu within your header. Here I have a page and at the top I want to place a menu over here. Let's have a quick look at the menus and you will see that in my WordPress dashboard under Appearance and Menus, I have created altogether three menus over here. Main menu, menu number one, menu number two. These are for display purposes. Then in the builder, to add that in Brizzy Pro, go to Add Elements and scroll all the way down to WP. You will see the hamburger icon appear over here and it says Menu. Click and drag and drop it where you want the menu to appear. Click on it and you will see styling options appear over here. But let's first set the menu that we want to use. To do that, go to the settings options over here, click on it, and then again to the hamburger icon. When you click on it, you can select the menu that you want to use. I will say maybe menu number one, or uh, let's go for menu number two. I also have the option to display this as a hamburger menu on my desktop view. You can adjust the spacing like so. And then of course, if you want to do styling to it, click on the menu again, and you can begin over here. You can assign an individual icon to each of these. If I click on home, click on the icon, and let's search for a home. I grab this one over here. And you can also change the size and spacing and you will see next to home the icon will appear over here and you can do this let's say contact over here icon let's look again for a contact let's use this one for topography the t and this will affect all of them within the header so if i change Mully, it will change all of them you can change the size over here the line height and as well as the weight Let's reduce our letter spacing a little bit. That looks better. Color will also affect the entire area. As well as your hover. Alignment to the right, left and center. By default, when you go into the responsive views for tablet and for mobile, it will appear as a hamburger. And the drawer comes out like so. You have the option, though, to deactivate the hamburger by going to the settings. Select the WP menu icon and say make it hamburger. No. Again, it will display as a default header. Let's go to mobile. And now let's style a little bit what we've got here. Select the hamburger menu and it will pop out the drawer menu for you over here. Click on the settings here. And again, you will have options to assign icons as well as change the topography. Size especially will be here a feature if you want to make it bigger in this display. Increase maybe some line height. And then you have options for the color of the text, the background, as well as the border. You can go here to the settings and also change the color of the hamburger menu. Now you have a custom menu that is responsive to your mobile, to your tablet, and to your desktop. If you want to change the menu at the later stage, it's as simple as going again to your settings. WP menu and select your menu over here. Remember, this is a Brizzy Pro element, but we also have another element within Brizzy Free that will also allow you to build out menus on your pages. For more tutorials on Brizzy, make sure to subscribe here to YouTube, join us on our Facebook community, and visit us at brizzy.io.